I didn't want three fusion tag because it's kind of bricky, so I just figured I cut one and then I added two cosmic cyclone, three floodgate, and in eliminating the league, um, just because you can discard dead fusion tags or cyclones or miracle, miracle contacts to destroy a monster on the field and then rip additional copies of that card out of your opponent's hand. But you also, even if they don't have any additional copies of whatever you destroyed, you still get to look at their hand and loop it, and uh, or at least look at it. And, write down the information that they have which is pretty neat uh, neo space just because we don't want our monsters shuffled into the deck um thankfully only aqua neos does that but again we it also gives a 500 attack and defense boost which is pretty nice um but yeah uh two neos one aqua dolphin this is more of a brick than neos is because like neos i can open with keeper of dragon magic um and it again i do have the full combo that way so uh pretty straightforward just the one miracle contact for shuffling stuff back for additional fusion summons um, but yeah, uh, that's about it. Pretty quick explanation. Stick around. We'll try and hit King of Games with it. Alright, we're up against an Ishizu Ishtar. So, Seal Tombs. But I mean, it's ladder, so maybe some weird Prussian stack or some shit. I don't know. Balance, okay. So, Treatment, maybe? Balance? Hmm. Our hand is solid. We're just going to Keeper of Dragon Magic. Um, discard the Neos. Um, do I want to? I think I just want to set up um, Neos Fusion. Like, it just it's protection. I don't really need to Marine Neos right away. Um, I'm gonna reveal the Brave here. I don't want to show off the Aqua over the um, Marine Neos just just because we don't need to reveal our strategy yet. I'm going to send the one from deck along with the. Aqua Dolphin, sure. Why not? That way, next turn we have the contact so we can potentially make an Aqua Neos if we need to. Alright, so he's going to summon. So, Bounce, Dark Magician, interesting. He's going to search circle. He's going to activate circle. Try and snipe that navigation. assuming okay he did of course they, they always do why not that's the play right there rod grab circle circle snipe that navigation all right so he's gonna illusion magic right away i guess he has another back row he wants to set he's gonna grab dark magician to his hand dark magicians to his hand. this artwork's kind of cool i don't know if i like it better than the original though like the bl the blue background, but all right. So he has navigation, and I'm, what I'm assuming is a um, econ face down. We drew the fusion tag. Now that's crazy because now we can fusion tag on the keeper going to marine neos, um, and we can activate marine neos and force out the navigation. Oh, it's just gonna flood it. Okay, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> that is absolutely fine. Cool, so now we can reveal Marine Dolphin. It's such a weird looking card. Um, special Summon Marine Neos. This one's much cooler looking. Marine Neos. Um, we're going to activate effect if he does it navigation right here. Um, okay, so he's got a navigation right here. Assuming banish the Marine Neos, in which case we just summon another Brave and clear both Dark Magicians. Which is pretty nice. If he banishes our Brave, I'll just... Okay, cool. Alright, so... I just, he has to, otherwise I just rip a card out of his hand, and then we are set for life. Uh, I think we still just... Okay, never mind. I was going to say, if he left the Dark Magician in attack, we might have had, we might have had enough damage, but... Um, oh, I still haven't even normal summoned yet. I can just summon Connector here. This is crazy. Connector. Summon Neos. Um, tribute Connector. Wow, this is this is insane. Some Aqua Dolphin. Uh, I could try and rip a card out of his hand. Uh, but I just want to make Aqua Neos, right? 
Yeah, I'm just going to summon a bunch of big beat sticks so that way he can't banish all of my cards, you know? Like, he can banish one, but there's no way he's playing through all three. And now we put back the connector and the Neos. And summon Brave. And now we go bang. Search. Okay, Neos Fusion. We go bang. Search. Alpha Neos is so cool. This in the ultimate rare version of this in the TCG looks like a disco ball, dude. It's so crazy looking. It's really cool. No, do not use Aqua Neo's effect. You don't want to shuffle them back, except in very rare scenarios. Like I did earlier against an invoke deck, I put it back to reduce the attack of Purgatrio to below the, the Brave Neos that was alongside the Aqua Neos. So like, I put back Aqua Neos, and then because Purgatrio lost the 200 attack boost, since I had one less card on the field. It was lower attack than the Brave Neos, and that made the difference. But besides that, a lot of the, almost all the time, you will want to put, not put back the Aqua Neos. So I'm um, going to force the um, navigation if he has it, because he can't risk hitting the Dark Magician in his hand. Okay, uh, I'm just going to go to battle phase then and smack him for 15. Unless that's an econ face down, this should be game. That was a risky play, dude. I don't know why he didn't just use navigation. Because like, I had a 33% chance of just winning the game right there. Does this man really play two Magician of Dark Illusion? Really? Okay. So you're going to econ take? You have to, right? Nope. Okay. Easy enough. Awesome. One down. A few to go. On to the next one. Alright, we are up against an Odion. We are going first. Activating our Neo Space. Our hand is pretty solid. So we have the connector into Neos. <coughs> Watching some Pokemon, oh well. Uh, activate a fusion tag here, target our Neos connector. Um, we're going to summon, uh, reveal our Marine Dolphin. Uh, and then special our Marine Neos. Um, fortunately, we don't get to look at his hand with this card. That would be broken. But we are just going to destroy one randomly, so we're hitting a Swamp Mirror. So I'm assuming it's an Endless Trap Hell or Chain reaction deck of sorts. Um, so he's gonna set two here. I'm just gonna snipe one in the end phase. Hit the middle one, why not? So Rainbow life, that's good. Um, so you're going to activate our Marine Neos here again. Just bait out some back rows, see what's going on before we commit our Keeper of Dragon Magic. He sniped Slifer out of his hand, <laughs> so it's a Slifer. <laughs> uh, that made a scoop. All right, that was pretty quick. Let's do uh, our final rank up. All right, we are up against an Espa Roba for our King of Games rank up. Um, fortunately, I only have three here because um, there were just like two two games where I was up against like Yami Yugi Power of Dark decks. So there, there was kind of free wins, but I'm keeping it in here. Our hand is not too great, so this is going to be a little bit rough. Um, so it's going to be Cosmic Enlightenment, I'm pretty sure, with uh, Psy Reflector, but he is just going to set one pass. Um, of course, of course, we uh, we draw the Neos. And I think I'm just going to go grab the Dolphin out of deck so that we don't have any more bricks to draw. Um, I am going to use Dolphin effect here because, I mean, Neos isn't doing us anything in hand, and I just want to see his hand to see what's going on. Um, yep. Activate Aqua Dolphin here. Also, this means Connector can bring back the Neos from our graveyard, potentially. Oh. Interesting. Well, that's cool. So I'm going to summon this Neos back. Um, yeah, let's see what... Uh, it's probably a Magician's Navigation face down, now that I think about it. Yeah, so if that's Magician Navigation face down, I'm absolutely going into this Aqua Neos here. So I want a 3k beat stick ASAP. Um, 
And if I can snipe this Magician of Dark Illusion out of his hand, that would be really nice. So I'm just going to discard this other Neos. Again, kind of pointless, especially since we have one back in deck now. Dang, missed it. That's okay. I'm going to set these two Floodgates. Uh, I'm just going to swing directly. Force the Magician Navigation here. Yep, that's fine. So what skill is it then? Don't even know. So he's going to summon the Dark Magician from his hand. So he's playing two. Okay, so the Snipe out of his hand didn't matter. Now he's going to summon the third one from his... No? I was about to say. So... Huh. He had the opportunity to special summon one from his hand, but I'm not sure why he didn't do that. Anyway. He has Magician of Dark Illusion in his hand. We know that much thanks to the information we got from Neospatial and Aqua Dolphin. And that is going to do it. All right, that was much faster than I thought. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. So that's going to be the rank up, guys. Uh, I'm going to do one more game in King of Games because this video is kind of short now because we really only had one actual game. The other two opponents bricked, and the other ones were Yami Yugi Power of Dark Decks. So, um, yeah, stick around. I'm so used to ending videos like right on that windscreen that my dumbass forgot to record. Uh, that my dumbass forgot to record the goddamn King of Games rank up screen. So <laughs> I hope you believe me. Just hit King of Games. Woo. Uh, celebrate. Woo. All right. Stick around. I'm going to do one more. All right. So we're up against an Arcana. We are going first. Nice. Um. I'm going to activate Neos Fusion here. Sending Neos and Dolphin. Get them out of the deck so that we're just drawing Keepers and Neos Connectors. Uh, set our three back row and pass it back. Not really looping in much, are we? So 30 card spell books. Wow. Never thought I'd see the day. 30 card books with a crescent too. <clears throat> Secrets add blue boy. Summon blue boy. That's fine. Huh. We have the Cyclone for the Fate. Master Copy Secrets. Grab Fate or Eternity if already has, so already has Fate. So grab Eternity. Okay, so Organization. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Just, gonna s just straight up activate Fate. Okay. Banish Brave Neos. That's fine. Organization. Activate. Shane is a top three. Does he have power or some shit? No? Okay, so he's just going to chill with two spellbooks in the grave. Alright, pass it back to me. Uh, connectors is fine to draw. Contact is also fine to draw, except of course don't have open back row, so I'm just gonna chill. I don't I don't wanna I'm in for the long game against spellbooks anyway, so I'm not gonna try and cycle in my own back row just to clear up space. I'm just I'm just gonna chill. Uh, summoning fool. Alright, that's floodgatable. Absolutely. Yeah, because otherwise you can foolish burial a uh, spellbook card. No, I do not want to do that. Okay. Blue boy's gonna smack me directly. Another floodgate, third floodgate here. Okay, so we're going to use Miracle Contact, <clears throat> summoning the uh, Brave Neos again, just so we can get a search. Let's set our third floodgate. Smack for a fat 25. Grab the last Neos Fusion out of our deck. Pass it back.
Now what's in store for us? He has two spell book spells in grave. He's gonna actually grass still. Level six, so he sent Secrets Master, another grass, blue boy, monster gate, and demock. Show of nightmares adding back Wow, what a rip, dude. Oh my god, what a rip. Holy shit. That's crazy. Um, so if he grabs blue boy here, okay, I, I'm gonna floodgate the blue boy because that way he won't have a face up. I'm just, like, if he doesn't have the fate already, if he has to search the fate here, then by floodgating the blue boy, I'm getting rid of a spellbook monster on his field. However, he's just gonna set it and pass. Okay, that's interesting. Makes sense. I mean, I guess you can't take another hit. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think here. You have Keeper. I'm gonna beat over the Fool. I'm not hitting the Blue Boy because it's a flip. It's a on flip effect as well. It's like Alistair. That'll give it its effect if it's flip summoned or flip face up rather. Um, so he's gonna Blue Boy effect. I'm gonna set this again because again I don't want a spell book on the field for or a spell caster monster on the field for him to be able to use fate. Um, He's gonna grab secrets. Oh, he's got a prismatic one too. Nice. Oh, I can't see it. Um, it's like he hasn't used his normal summon here. Reaper. Um, okay, so I gotta look. How many does he have? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So four or more. Okay, so I can't special summon. It just gains 600. And he has a spellbook spell card. Okay, so I'm going to flood this as well because, again, it gets rid of his uh, chances to fate. So flood it, and then he'll grab. I'm assuming it's fate from deck. Eternity. Okay, that makes sense as well. Okay, but on the following turn, we should be able to. Um, Marine Neos him, as well as Aqua Dolphin, or Aqua Neos him. So he's going to add the Fate here, and he can't Fate because he doesn't have a face of Spellcaster. So we are set. Oh, never mind. I'm going to see. <clears throat> Lifes, but we have the Cyclone for the life, so that's good. Reveal Fate. Target Demok. Chain Cyclone. Get that out of here. No thanks. I don't see him scooping here. Because he still has a blue boy left. Eternity. Add life back, but he can only activate one life per turn, but he's just going to have it for the following turn. That's fine. going to pass it to us. We are drawing. That's awesome. We're going to activate Keeper Dragon Magic. Discard the Neos, grab ourselves a fusion tag. Bit of a slow start, but we're getting there. Activate Keeper of Dragon Magic. Reveal the Aqua Neos. Summon back Neos. I'm gonna use the fusion tag, targeting Keeper of Dragon Magic to make it Marine Dolphin. Now we're going to, going to contact fuse for Marine Neos. Rip the card out of his hand. Which was the fate, and we are going to use Neos Fusion to summon Aqua Neos by sending Neos and Aqua Dolphin to the graveyard. Pretty explosive turn. And we are going to smack 433 to the face. Alright, finally, a better game to exhibit what the deck does. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, my dumbass forgot to get the King of Games rank up screen. <laughs> like, how did I forget to do that? It's like the most simple thing. Anyway. Um, doesn't matter too much. No reason to lie, really. It's just a king of games. I'm not worried about it. Um, the deck's still fun, anyway. It's not too fantastic. Um, I mean, it's it's good. It's solid, but like looping a card or two out of your opponent's hand isn't going to stop a ton of decks nowadays. Like, it might stop Black Wings, um, but like Dark Lords can just have contact to bring back whatever you sent to grave. Like Sheer Noe can still have the one card Squire, or you can still miss the Grass, and they can still activate Grass. 
Um, so like, uh, or like they can use whatever you said to grave. So like hitting spectral sword is kind of useless. Um, but like I feel like this deck could have potential in the future, just not currently in this meta because nothing has really hindered too much by like, having cards in the grave. Like maybe if there are control decks that like have it, all having all their back row get looped out of their hand is kind of destructive, then this deck would be good against them. But until then, uh, it's just for fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you in the next one. Peace. What's up guys, it's your boy Kazaris, back with another fun little tech profile. And today we have a Marine Neos hand loop. Um, so the way this deck works is you use Fusion Tag to make um, either your connector or your Keeper of Dragon Magic um, Marine Dolphin by targeting them with this card and then revealing the Marine Dolphin. Um, and then you can contact Fuse with the Neos that you summoned off of either of them for Marine Neos. Um, and then if you had Keeper of Dragon Magic, ideally you'll have opened either Fusion Tag or Neos Fusion, and then you can search the opposite and then follow it up with a Neos Fusion after you make the Marine Neos for an Aqua Neos, and then loop another card, or just make Brave Neos, depending if you have like Floodgate and you want to keep it, something like that. So um, if the Marine Neos lives every turn that it lives, you'll be destroying a card in your opponent's hand randomly. So you just keep looping them for one every turn and just keep gaining, gaining advantage that way. Um, so you have Connector to summon Neos from deck and then Fusion Tag to target Connector. Or you have Keeper of Dragon Magic to discard Neos to grab either Neos Fusion or Fusion Tag. And then Effect <clears throat> to reveal Brave Neos or any one of these really. Um, and summon back Neos from Grave. Um, and even though it's face down, you can still contact Fuse with it. So that's pretty neat.